Actor Matthew Lawrence, brother of Jory Lawrence, best known for his role in Mrs. Doubtfire, Hello! Ah! said he was fired by his agency for refusing grooming tips from a Marvel director. What? <laughs> what is he saying? Pedophilia? Weinstein? Fuck. Nah. I'm Jasper Gonzo and this what the hell's going on out here? is what's next. What's up everyone? Jasper Gonzo, what's next? Your daily? Happy Monday. We start a new week. I would say the new week same bullshit, but uh, this one is a little different. Actor Matthew Lawrence, the brother of Joey Lawrence, of course, the Lawrence brothers who have been in acting for the better part of, I don't know, what's it now, like 40 years now? Well, it turns out that Matthew Lawrence was recently fired by his agency for refusing grooming tips. Gee, I wonder where I've heard this before. Wasn't it Corey Feldman who was screaming from the hilltops for the better part of over 25 years, talking about pedophilia in Hollywood, and of course, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, let's start up the whole Me Too thing again, huh? Shall we? Oh, no, no, we can't because he's a dude. Let's take a look. This comes out of the post-millennial. Former child actor Matthew Lawrence said he was fired by agency after refusing grooming tips by a Marvel director. A very prominent Oscar award winning director who showed up in his robe asked me to take my clothes off. On Friday, actor Matthew Lawrence sent us podcast Brotherly Love, co hosted by his brothers and fellow actor Andrew and Joey. Both actors said that he was propositioned to get a huge role by a famous director to get a role in a Marvel movie. Quote, whether it's another woman or another man in power, there has been many times in my life where I've been propositioned to get a huge role, Lawrence said. I've lost my agency because I went to the hotel room, which I can't believe they would send me to. Of course, a very prominent Oscar award winning director who showed up in his robe asked me to take my clothes off and he said he needed to take Polaroids of me and then if I did X, Y, and Z, I would be in the next Marvel movie, i.e. Marvel character. I didn't do that and my agency fired me because I left this director in his room. The actor noted that a lot of other male friends have gone through the same similar circumstances with both men and women and mentioned actor Terry Crews, who came forward in 2017 with allegations of sexual assault as he suffered at the hands of a Hollywood power broker, reports the Washington Post. Lawrence, 43, best known for uh, being one of the siblings in Robin Williams' classic Mrs. Dalfire, and for the sitcom Boy Meets World, made comments after his brothers reflected on the, quote, Me Too movement. Whether it's another woman or another man in power, yeah. there's been many times in my life where I've been propositioned to get a huge role. I've lost my agency because I went to the hotel room, which I can't believe they would send me to, of a very prominent Oscar award winning director who showed up in his robe, asked me to take my clothes off and said he needed to take Polaroids of me, and that if I did X, Y, and Z, I would be the next Marvel character. I didn't do that, and my agency fired me because I left this this director's room. And along those lines, a lot of my sto a lot of these stories, a lot of my other male friends have gone through with both men and women in this industry. But there's a double standard, and this is where I bring Terry Crews. Terry Crews comes out and says it. People are laughing at him. Gee, he wasn't lying. My thoughts. He's one thousand percent correct. There is a true double standard when a guy comes out. Like I mentioned in the beginning, you had Corey Feldman, who experienced this firsthand, was yelling to media, to anybody who would hear him regarding pedophilia in Hollywood and, of course, Harvey Weinstein. Well, Harvey Weinstein was, uh, I think he's either in prison or he's dead, um, was doing this on a casting couch for over 30 years, 40 years, you had the most famous people in Hollywood, including Oprah Winfrey, who was besties with Harvey Weinstein. They all knew that Weinstein was a piece of shit, and yet they went along to get along. 
So now here comes Matthew Lawrence. And Matthew Lawrence makes it very clear. He's not the only one. You got those in Hollywood still, still in 2023 with their mouths shut because they're afraid to lose parts in prominent movies. Now, I'm not going to say that Lawrence is lying. I believe him. There's too much evidence, you know. Thelman, Corey, you know, Terry Crews, others who have said that as well. So, to me, I would have just been calling out names. I would have threw his name out. I would have threw the director's name out there. I would have said, yep, this is a piece of shit who propositioned me in a robe and asked me to do certain things that I was not comfortable doing. But then again, that's just me. I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss an episode. And we'll see you next time. Peace.